no, 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 no. I have to take my soon. The tension in Sembable politics is not about to end. A fresh probe to ascertain who is the Luemiaga NRM flag bearer could change the status quo. Incumbent MP Theodore Sechikubo claims to have been called last evening to the NRM headquarters on Chadondo Road here in Kampala to inform him of these new developments. Sechikubo told journalists at Parliament that a report on the polls by Chief Presidential aide Colonel Wilson Mbadi was forwarded to the Moses Chigongo Committee that is handling petitions. They will be announcing that having carried out further investigations on further investigations of the investigations, now we have finally found that Sechikubo has lost. Sechikubo still accuses his political nemesis, Foreign Affairs Minister Sam Kutesa, of working to ensure that he's defeated and his rival Patrick Nkalvo becomes the NRM torchbearer. So they want to declare Kutesa as the winner. But for how long must President Seven overbend in such a manner? He never told us that he's standing as chairman for his Musanji. Meanwhile, Dora West MP David Bahati says Uganda is mounting diplomatic pressure on Rwanda to produce two of its constituents who were arrested by the Rwandan authorities two weeks ago. We have kept in communicado uh, regarding their whereabouts and the charges that they committed. Still in Parliament, Makindi East MP Mike Mabike is cautioning President Museveni to be aware of the new NRM convert. Kampala Mayor Nasantege Sebagala. He warns that Sebagala would soon pull a fast one on the president since his record as an ex-convict is well known. Mabike was reacting to reports that Sebagala had referred to him as a villager. Sebagala yesterday paraded Mark India Division Chairman Moses Kalunji as a new NRM catch for DP. Sebagala brought me a basket of full of papers saying actually he was qualified. He had gone to school. My friend, the man conned all of us. The man is on a soft target and the victim is President Number 7. I repeat, a President Number 7. In another development, Burundian President Pierre Nkurunziza will grace the National Prayer Breakfast organized by Parliament, which is scheduled for Friday. His Excellency uh, President Pierre Nkurunziza will join the leaders of our nation in sharing a recognition, one as old as time that willingness to believe and openness to grace and commitment to prayer can bring sustenance to our lives and our nation.